more question. Sure. Would you be able to be married to a man that wants four wives? Genuine question. I really wanted to ask this. Mm, it's not for me, no. I wouldn't marry someone who's married to four wives because would you marry someone who's... Well, that's, that's haram. That's haram, yes. But right. it's her choice in Islam. It's her choice. It's, in, in, in Islam, it's my choice if I want to get married to someone who wants four wives or not, or more than one wife. Why not? Mm, I want the attention all to myself. Are you sure about that? Assalamu alaikum. I see you guys are enjoying my content, but you are not subscribed. Please consider subscribing and don't forget to like this video. Jazakallah khair. So I just wanted to come in here and react to this conversation between Sneeko and this lady, this Muslim lady. Um, so Sneeko asks her the question uh, as to would she consider marrying a man who has perhaps another wife or more than one, or more than two even. Um, and she responds in the negative, which I think is a natural thing. I think uh, the majority of women, both Muslim and non-Muslim, would uh, not consider um, marrying a man who is perhaps uh, polygamous, right? Um, of course, they want the man to themselves, and which, I mean, in Islam, this is a, a right of hers that she, that, I mean, she has the right to say no to a polygamous marriage. Um, although we must make the distinction that um, she don't really have a say after, um, you know, let's say she's married already and the, husband's de the husband desire another wife. Um, she don't really have much ground um, she can ask for the divorce. She can't initiate the, the divorce. The man can. Um, or the man has really the last say. Um, you know, and there's wisdoms behind that. I'm not going to go into much detail with regards to that. But, um, yeah, this is the case. Of course, she can also uh, mention it in her, her marriage contract. As in, like, you know, um, if, if she is to get married, she can stipulate in that contract. And if the man agrees, then um, she can say that uh, she don't want to be a part of any... Uh, polygamous uh, setup, meaning that basically her husband then could not marry again, right? If it is that she that he does, he, uh, there is grounds for, her to term, for well, the marriage to be terminated. Now the lady goes on to continue with a counter question where she asks Nico, would you consider marrying a wife with more than one husband? Now perhaps she don't understand the biological differences between men and women. Well, I'm sure she recognizes it, but really don't, I feel like most of the people don't really uh, quite understand why this is the case. I've had this question uh, posed to myself as well. Now, um, I would consider it a biological and then obviously a social um, or psychological uh, difference, right, which allows for men to have more than one partner and women to not have more than one partner. Now, of course, we understand that biologically the woman has uh, the ability to bear children but with that comes the fact that she is pregnant for nine months i doubt she'll be able to satisfy four or more or, well i mean one or more men um with the fact that she might be pregnant and then the thing is also whose child does that uh pregnancy uh refer to you know whose child does it belong to the child so um you know there's that and then of course the psychological uh differences is that Women are hypergamous. Um, they are seeking out the uh, strongest, highest value man out there, which means that they are not really looking to be part of a polygamous setup. Men, on the other hand, are not uh, the same. Um, men would, you know, gladly take on a woman who's perhaps uh, lower down on the social and economic uh, status, uh, you know, spectrum. But of course, the beauty standard is what really keeps the man engaged. So there's that, that difference. Um, and this is now obviously why, um, uh, you know, traditionalism or religious society has, you know, has had the, um, you know, polygamous setups within the communities throughout human history. It's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. And I know that Sneeko has admitted to his desire to have more than one wife. Um, so if there is that little bit of advice that I could give, then um, if it were that I had to meet him or discuss anything with him, then I'll definitely say that don't uh, let monogamy be in the marriage contract. Marriage contract is, is uh, I think, an important, of course, it is an important uh, uh, aspect in, you know, the vetting process and marriage. So make sure that monogamy is not in the contract and rather polygamy so that, you know, if it is that you decide to take on the next, then that option is available to you. If she doesn't agree with us, then unfortunately uh, you know you'd have to part ways i'd say you smart but i'm interested to know what you guys think about adding 
polygamy into your marriage contract or negating monogamy, especially when it comes to the vetting process before, you know, the contract is actually formulated. So let me know what you guys think and if you have any questions. Just that's a very good question. And on that note, guys, JazakAllah Khair for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, share, and if it is that you enjoy my content, definitely subscribe. JazakAllah Khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.